Here's a quick video going through the laws of indices and some examples with them. Let's go through the first rule. So if we have the same number being raised to two different powers and we multiply them, the result is going to be that number and then you add the powers together. Now if you divide, you're going to get the powers subtracted. And if you have a number to a power and the whole thing's being raised to another power, then the result is just going to be those two powers multiplied by each other. Here are three examples that we're going to go through right now to just get used to the idea of these rules. So here we have x to the 6 y cubed multiplied by x squared y to the 4. Remember, when we're multiplying, we add the powers. So we have x to the 6 plus 2. So x to the 8, and then we have y. We have th y cubed times y to the 4. So we have 3 plus 4. So our first one is this. Now for our next one, we have y to the 9. As we're dividing, but there's no y we're dividing by. So it's 9 minus 0. a cubed divided by a squared. So we do a to the 3 minus 2. So we have a to the power of 1, which is just a. Now here we have divide by b squared. So we have no b here. So we have 0 lots of b. We have b to the 0 minus 2. So here we're, it's going to be b to the minus 2. Now for this third one, remember when we're raising an expression to another power, we just multiply out the powers. So we're going to have 2 cubed, which is 8. A, 3 times 1 is 3. And then we have b squared to the power of 3. So it's 2 times 3. So we have b to the 6. Here's another example where we have more things going on at once. So first of all, let's go through this bit by bit. So if we deal with the numerator, we're going to have a to the 7, and then as there's no a we're multiplying by, and we have b squared multiplied by b cubed. So we have b to the 2 plus 3, so b to the 5. And we're dividing this by a cubed b. Now remember, when we divide, we subtract the powers. So we're going to get a to the 7 minus 3 multiplied by b to the 5. Imagine there's a 1 here. 5 minus 1. So this is just equal to a to the 4 times b to the 4. Here's the last example we'll go through. This one is again involving more than one rule at once. It's a bit more tricky, but let's just get through this. It's not that bad. So remember to just go this bit by bit. So if we deal with the first bracket, remember when we're raising to a power, we're going to multiply it out. So we have z to the 2 times 3, which is 6 multiplied by y to the 4 times 2, which is 8. And then we're dividing by z to the half raised to the fourth power is a half times 4, which is 2. Then we have y raised to the fourth power, so just y to the 4. Now remember when we divide, we take away the powers. So we have z to the 6 minus 2, which is 4, multiplied by y to the 8 minus 4, which is again 4. There we have it.